Hey, I came out to do some photography, but well, we got a really rainy, blustery day today, and I'm sure like me, you sometimes, and not that they can't get good pictures in weather like this, but maybe you don't want to go out and get your camera and yourself all wet. So I have an idea. Something I'm going to try today is I'm going to photograph some crystals, mainly bismuth crystals. And uh, this is bismuth. Bismuth is a very heavy metal like lead. In fact, bismuth is often used in place of lead right now, in place of bullets, uh, lead weights for fishing. Uh, it is considerably heavy and has a low melting point, very much like lead, but unlike lead, it's not poisonous to the environment or to people. In fact, bismuth, believe it or not, this is one of the main ingredients in Pepto-Bismol. So, in order to melt this down, you're going to have to get some kind of a pot. I got this at a local hardware store and the bismuth itself, I'm going to let you Google because there are many places you can find it online. I believe Amazon carries it. And you're also going to need a way to melt it. I'm going to use a propane torch. And finally, safety first. And put some safety goggles. We want to protect those eyes, especially for photographers. So we're going to go ahead and do this and show you how you can go ahead and create bismuth crystals. And here is my ultimate setup. As you see, I've got a stand that I can actually melt the bismuth on. I picked that up at Amazon. And so we're going to go ahead and get into and start creating our crystals. So the first thing we're going to do is use the propane torch to carefully melt the bismuth. Now, if you're really daring, you can probably do this on a stove because the melting temperature of this is around 500 degrees, but I'm not going to risk my stove. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. One thing you've got to be careful in the propane torch, if you turn it more upside down to do this, it's um, probably going to make the torch go out. So we'll return in a moment once. So I'm not going to sit here and let you wait and see all this melt. So we'll be back in a minute. It's taken about 10 minutes now. And uh, the bismuth is slowly melting, turning into liquid. It will keep you posted. As this melts, uh, skin is going to form. And you're going to want to scrape that off. We still have solid, big, solid blunk lump in there, so we'll keep on going. I'm going to take off the skin as it forms. Okay. Okay. For ours, this took about a half hour to melt. So now what we're going to do is slowly and gradually let it cool. But as we do, the scum's going to form on the surface, and we're going to want to scrape that off. And just carefully, you know, just let this cool off now. You want to keep pushing it down and, uh, around the sides in here. Eventually we're going to lift that off. It'll cool in there. And the crystals are formed from the oxidation and uh, the different colors of the crystals will be determined by the actual temperature as they cool off. I'm going to pull out one of my first ones here. And you can see the crystals are starting to form. I'll go ahead and set this one aside. And get it out of there. And 
And if worse comes to worse, you can always melt it back down and do it all over again. As you can see, you can create some very, very, very amazing, credible, and colorful crystalline structures from the bismuth, which you can then use in macro photography projects. Okay, after we've done this, we decided to try something a little different. We're going to make uh, larger crystals. And um, we brought in a second torch to make the melting go just a little bit faster, as you can see here. And we found one of the secrets is, is to allow the bismuth to cool slowly. That forms more crystals. And what we're going to do is we're going to pour this into a second pot. So we're going to be doing that here in just a moment. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to turn down a flame. And we're going to let this try to cool off just a little bit slower than we did before. It's quite hot now. We want to be very, very careful because even though this melts at a relatively low temperature, as far as metals are concerned, it's still very, very hot and uh, could easily burn you or anything around. So we want to make sure that you're wearing safety goggles and you take all the precautions, have pads in order to uh, protect your hands. And we're just going to let this cool for a bit. So we want this as we're going to be checking this every little bit here, but we want it basically to cool from the outside in. And uh, we want to give time for the larger crystals to form. So it'll be hardening on the outside and then once it's gone and hardened to a certain point we're going to pour the middle part out but uh, one of the secrets for making larger crystals is to let it cool slowly and let the crystals get a chance to grow that's rolling okay we're going to go ahead this has been about 15 minutes so what we're going to do is gently pour this middle into a second bowl that we got here. Oh, I can see some, see some crystal growth in there. So this should produce much larger crystals and maybe this didn't slow quite as much as it should have. Okay, well this was certainly a bit better than our uh, first attempt. And we probably could have let it cool a little bit slower, but at least you get an idea. And we got much, much larger crystals. Uh, first crystals might be good for jewelry, and people do use these uh, crystals for uh, jewelry and uh, making interesting items, decoration. But uh, these should make interesting photos, and we should be able to cut this off. And what we've got here is kind of a pseudo geode. So again, safety. You want to make sure you wear goggles, have gloves. Ouch, that's hot. <laughs> And just be very, very careful. You don't want to set something on fire. You don't want to burn or scald yourself or uh, destroy uh, any of your good property. That's why we didn't use a kitchen stove, though. You can use that if, you're really, if you really want to. So thank you so much, and uh, we're anxious to see some of your bismuth crystal pictures.